Okay, today we're going to start talking about getting your pelvic floor working, getting your transverse abdominis working, and getting your multifidus working. So we'll start off with getting you understanding what you need to do as far as getting that pelvic floor switched on, what position your spine needs to be in. We always talk about neutral spine and getting your abs on or your core on. Let's uh, try and break it down a little bit and get you understanding what we are actually talking about as far as bringing on the pelvic floor, activate the abdominals rather than just bracing and, and working the lower back too much. And then we'll work on trying to get that switched on and then trying to get your lower back switched on and getting those little muscles which are called multivitus, which you might have heard of, which are the stabilizers for the spine, trying to get them switched on rather than the big extensors switched on. So the first thing I want you to work on, follow me down here, is when you're doing this pelvic floor transverse abdominis work, you know, trying to get the muscle system activated, you've got to make sure you're in neutral, okay? So you can't be in this flat back position. You can't be imprinted into here in this rounded back position, especially if one of those, if you're one of those disc patients who's recovering from a disc problem. And you also can't be arched up into here. A lot of people, when they try and do core work and raise their legs, they, they arch up too much. So we've got to try and find our neutral position. So what I want you to do, hands on your hip bones, and you've got to try and go arching up all the way here. And you see this one four point when you do a cat cow position, and then curling under and trying to find the other way. Now this is a really good mobiliser for your lower back anyway, if you're a bit stiff in there. So try to find the, ex the extremes, extension there, flexion here, that lumbar spine, and then finding that nice midway point in between. Once you've got that midway point, we need to start activating our pelvic floor and our abdominals with our breathing. So what I like to do is you find those bony points in the front of the hip, okay? So your ASIS, your anterior superior leg spine, find that bony point there. What you then do is go in and down an inch, and you, you're basically the closest area you're going to be to your um, transverse dom, so feel what's going on. Now remember, what you don't want to do is go, oh, brain, abdominals, okay? You've got to go brain, pelvic floor, pelvic floor, abdominals, and that's how we're going to get our low level core activation work going. So come over here and have a, have a look at this. So if we try and think about, if you're breathing, what I want you to do is as you breathe out, you're going to tighten up or draw up that pelvic floor. Now, if you can think about the pelvic floor as your toilet muscles, okay? So they're the muscles that are gonna stop you going to the toilet, all right? In the front, not the back. You want any bum gripping. We want to think about doing the front. So as if you're going for a wee and you're going to stop mid-flow, what you've got to try and think about is slowly, if you're going to the toilet, slowly stopping that flow. And what you'll feel as you breathe out, not as you breathe in, as you breathe out, you'll feel that transverse abdominus fire up and kick in. Now, as physios, we always talk about getting up to about 30%. So not your maximum, okay? And it's definitely not a brace position. If you feel that your tummy's popping up like this, you're doing a brace position. You're doing your, your obliques and your rectus arms and you're trying to get that intra-abdominal pressure and that's not what we want because it'll tend to arch your back and it'll tend to overwork your extensors. So we've got to think about drawing up and in. So don't think of too much about hollowing out and dropping the belly button down. We tend, that tends to be to lift up through here. So we've got to try and keep our ribs down, okay? And then as we breathe out, we lift up until we feel that tone, about 30% tone. And then as we breathe in, we let it switch off again. Okay, and that's just activating on and off with every breath. So remember, breathing out, drawing up, not breathing in and drawing up. Okay, so that's your first part, is trying to breathe in, breathe out and feel that tone. And you'll see what will happen on some people's abdominal belly buttons is, it'll go down and it'll go south, okay? And that's what we want. We want that belly button getting drawn downwards, all right? So there's your first exercise. That is breathing, pelvic floor, transverse abdominis, all right? Getting that activated, getting it firing up. The second exercise for you guys to train it is to try and when you breathe out for the first time, you breathe out and you switch it on, you then try and hold it on at that 30% level and keep breathing in and out and don't let it switched off as you breathe in in 
and out. I'm just feeling that tone, keeping it on at 30%, breathing in, breathing out, and trying to keep it activated the whole time. And I'd go for about 20 breaths, and then have a break, have a rest. Okay? That's in supine. We've also got them doing full point. Supine's easy. We've got, we can feel what's going on. Full point is harder. So when you go, what I mean by full point is you're like in this horse stance or cow position, okay? And what you want to aim for is arms straight down, thighs straight down, and again, start with getting that lower back into that neutral spine. A lot of people start here and they'll go sag straight into there. That's no good. You've got to try and get up into neutral. And so I would go all the way up into flexion to round that lower back, tuck that belly button into that sort of cat position, and then drop down into the cow position. And just do that a couple of times, cat and cow, trying to really mobilize that lower back and then find your halfway point in between. Crucial thing is too, you're not dropped down at the shoulders, okay? You've got to be up into neutral protraction as well. So you don't drop down into here. And so you're a nice straight long spine through there, straight long head, and then you can try and get your breathing in and out. So remembering, breathing out, lifting up that pelvic floor. Now when you lift it, so we're going to be this way, if you like. If you imagine those pelvic floor muscles are, are stopping mid flow and they're coming up, so they'll be coming up this way. And what will happen is your belly will actually rise as you draw that pelvic floor in. Okay, so that's that breathing in, breathing out, drawing up that pelvic floor. Now, you have to feel internally for this one. You can't feel here unless you put one hand here, but that's harder because you've got to do it one arm. That's another exercise we'll go through later. So, working on that neutral spine, getting that pelvic floor activated. Okay.